Hi everybody, this is Trisha Dyka. I am with Mary Joyce. We are on day three of our five day challenge and today is about growth. And it was interesting right before we started this, I'm like, I'm blank. And as soon as I said that, it was like I, I got this, you know, sometimes when we're stuck and we're not really sure what direction, uh, a great question to ask is what is my next step? And when we ask that, then be aware of the emails that we get, of what keeps showing up in our feed and social media, what people talk to us about. Because a couple of weeks ago, maybe a little bit longer, I was doing that. I'm like, all right, I want to grow. I don't know what direction. I, I had this conversation and I got all of these hits. These hits, meaning um, I got emails about courses on NLP. I got courses on neuroscience. I got emails from different people talking about emotions and how it affects our brain. And it was, I got one from you and you were talking about hypnotherapy too. I was like, mm -hmm. all right, let me check that out. Mm -hmm. So um, I actually signed up for these courses and I'm in the midst of doing an NLP one right now. I'm also in the midst of doing a neuroscience class. And for me, if I'm not growing, I'm stagnant. And when I'm stagnant, I am blah. I can't be bothered with anything. I find that, and it's happened to me more than once, so I know, like, even, like, I love to read, and I read, I read any type of book. I'll read, by, you know, um, biographies. I'll read paranormal stuff. I'll read um, anything that will make my brain think. So I... I when I go pick up a book and I can't get through like three pages, it's like a red light going off on Trisha, what's going on? You know, if I'm just kind of drifting through my day with no direction, if my husband and I aren't laughing and he'll be like, what's up, what's going on? You seem a little, you know, blah or dreary or I'm like nothing, nothing. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> you know, these are my signs saying to me, you're, you're not moving forward, you're kind of stagnant, what's going on? And that's when I'll start journaling or I will just start writing, you know, what's my next step? You know, send me, send me signals. And you have to be open to these signals and see what the patterns are, see what's coming up. See what's like when you open up the email or, or go to research, you know, or do you become excited? You know, are you like, yes, this is something I want to learn about. And you know what, if you start the program and you think that, wow, this sucks, this is not what I'm interested in, that's right. At least you went down and tried it. At least you started it. And you say, all right, that's not working for me. Let me go try something else. I remember when I first moved to Florida, this is going back God, years and years ago, I was kind of just walking around and, and being like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with myself. And that that growth period like allowed me to be aware and check in on all kinds of beliefs and assumptions and perceptions that I had and completely yanked me out of my comfort zone. And it was the best thing that I ever did. Like if you're really stuck guys, pull yourself out of your comfort zone. And, and start doing something that you know is going to make you uncomfortable. And even if it's getting in our group and going on a Facebook live and chatting about what you want to grow or what you want to look, what your path you want to take like right now. So if you want to do that and it's a little uncomfortable for you, I applaud you and I think you should absolutely do it. I think a really um, great thing if you are kind of feeling stuck or not moving forward. I think change of environment is really, really important. Going out, going to different places, even going, I love going to museums or galleries and stuff. And you get so much inspiration from that, but also you get to meet other people and mingle. And I, I love people watching. So just changing your environment, it's just got such a powerful effect on us, but also just being out in nature, um, being outside, it really does help with your well being And, that will, it, again is going to change how many new experiences traveling is great going to different places going to different areas meeting up with new friends there's lots of groups on meetup 
that you can go up. So my lighting is just, I just thinking that I've got too much light on me now. I've gone from no light on me to loads of light on me. I'm glowing. <laughs> you are. <laughs> The sun is about to come out. Look, I'm just going to get more brighter and brighter. Look, I'm growing, I'm growing, I'm, I'm glowing and growing. Um, but definitely getting out. I'm going to have to put my blinds out. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to see. There we go. Yeah. Will it will it stay? Is the other question. There we go. <laughs> I have to put my lighting on me. <laughs> Um, yeah, so just getting out there, getting out into new experiences, meeting new people. And like you say, whatever you're interested in, someone set up a group about it. You know, someone's, you know, with hanging out with like-minded people or things, if it's new for you, it's even better. If it's a new skill you're learning, um, it just has that vibrancy and that excitement about it. You know, when we go and learn something new or it's something we've never done before. It just has, it just breeds excitement and we get really excited about things and it just really lifts our energy and that really helps you expand and grow as a person, just having new experiences or even going back to something um, that you used to do before in the past and you found it could have been a hobby that you used to do and you just haven't got had time for it and it used to bring you so much joy, but for some reason or other, you're no longer doing that. So I know as adults, we tend to do that a lot. We'll fall out of doing things that brought us so much joy and so much fun and we stop doing them. So just maybe reconnecting with the pastime or reconnecting with a hobby or something that really gave you loads of fun. Um, art is also, being creative is a great way to help you expand and sort of open up those creative pathways because even by drawing a picture, it can actually help with your writing. You know, all of these different creative outlets is really, really powerful and really does help you grow as, as a human being, as an individual, but also gives you so much peace, I think. Um, and it's very nurturing for yourself. Mm. Yeah. That's huge. Nurture your soul. You know, growing and nurturing your soul is really, really big. Um, and one thing I, I just want to add is, you know, growing too is being able to let things not be perfect. Do you know what I'm saying? Like here we are trying to do these videos and <laughs> you, you, you went bright, 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 and then got up and, and moved your shade. And it was just, you just went with the flow, go with the flow. Like it doesn't have to look a certain way. Don't get caught up in it has to be perfect or has to look a certain way. It's just go with the flow. Life just kind of goes, go with the flow of it. And the more you do, like things will open up and opportunities will show up, believe it or not. It almost kind of sounds counterintuitive. It's like, I got a force, I got a force, but no, you don't. All right, guys, we are going on to day four. Tomorrow, we're going to chat about intuition. So, and, and again, please, if Facebook lives are, you're not comfortable with, go in and do something, you know, go in the group, do a little Facebook live about your growth or go to Pinterest, add a picture. What is it you're looking to try? What is it you're looking to do? What, what direction do you want to see yourself going in? Or even or whatever posting, you want to try something new. Or even posting a question, you know, if you want to open up and start a discussion on something and definitely something that's a little bit more out there or, you know, I, I, I really welcome those kind of conversations so we can get people involved and stretching everyone else and sort of you being the person that sort of holds that space for others and, and, and helps them to stretch and grow. I think it's going to be really powerful. So yeah, definitely ask some questions of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be absolutely great if, if you ask questions and you're growing and others are growing with you because everybody's going to expand their perception. Lovely, thank you. All right, guys, see you tomorrow in the group.